So there have been rumours swirling for a little while now that someone was going to have a pop at setting up a TV uh, news channel alternative to the BBC. Of course, the BBC facing unprecedented criticism. Well, the Mail on Sunday, going big on the front page uh, with the report that former Downing Street advisor Sir Robbie Gibb, who used to be a senior BBC executive and then became Theresa May's Director of Communications. Reportedly, he's involved with this project to set up an impartial TV news channel to rival the BBC. That's according to the Mail on Sunday. Said to be a 24-hour station, uh, set to be launched early next year. Uh, aims to capitalise on, of course, the growing discontent with the BBC, with sources describing it as an antidote to the woke, wet corporation. Last night, a so and this is how you know it's not cobblers, a source uh, close to GB News actually quoted as saying, the channel will be a truly impartial source of news, unlike the woke, wet BBC. It will deliver the facts, not opinion dressed up as news. Everyone who works for GB News will have total commitment to quality journalism, to factual reporting and to impartiality. Now this comes of course, uh, and we've covered it, thanks a lot for your support by the way, we've covered it over the last few videos of sort of the shambles at the BBC. Now further research uh, recently coming out, YouGov for the Times finding that 55% of people opposed the stripping of lyrics, patriotic lyrics from the proms. Uh, only one in four now say the TV licence should continue in its present form. 63% uh, of people think that over 75s should get free licences still. And 55% say that the BBC does not offer good value for money. And I must say, I did have a bit of a chuckle at the weekend because Lord Hall, the outgoing Director General of the BBC no less, I think he's been there for seven years. So not exactly a brief tenure. Uh, the Telegraph, in an uh, interview with The Telegraph, the BBC must embark on a big push to move the majority of its staff outside London to improve diversity of opinions in the corporation, the outgoing Director General has said. Not as if he had any power to do this over the last seven years. And it shows you, doesn't it, guys, that the, uh, the, the disconnect between the BBC is growing. It's why... Channels like Westmonster, and again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this channel growing at a very rapid pace indeed. But in a way, channels like this have grown because the BBC has simply failed to provide, to, to provide a sufficient diversity in, of opinion. It's been so obsessed with being woke. And I've always thought anyway, it's slightly strange that in terms of uh, British... TV news channels, 24-hour news channels, you've really only got two. Of course, you've got BBC News and you've got Sky News. So it's interesting to see there could be a potential new entrant into the market. Of course, you've got the likes of Talk Radio, you've got the likes of LBC. But the growth, I think, that you're seeing, a lot of it is on YouTube, here on YouTube. At Westmonster and other channels, you know, we're able now to reach tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, thanks to you guys spreading the word. So I'd like to know from you guys, if there was a GB News 24-hour TV channel set up, would you be a regular viewer? Or are you now someone who just mostly comes to YouTube to get content such as this, reports such as this? Or do you still watch BBC News and Sky News? Let me know. I'd be really interested to see that people that watch this channel, do you mainly use YouTube as your, as your uh, news uh, source now? Or do you still use the mainstream media? Do you look forward to a new TV channel, news TV channel coming in? Or is it something you're not really interested in? Fascinated to know what you what your opinion is on this, but I think it's fair to say, and everyone can now spot, that the BBC and the licence fee uh, really on borrowed time. And again, for the outgoing Director General to be making these suggestions when he's been in the role for that long, that to me seems crackers. As ever guys, as I say, keen to hear what you've got to say in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to West Monster, please help the momentum keep going by hitting that subscribe button, clicking the bell so you don't miss future episodes. Cheers, guys.